Jesse Ventura is there with the Honky Tonk Man to discuss fan votes. You'll recall, three or four weeks ago, they asked fans to write in and vote, do you like the Honky Tonk Man, <laughs> or do you dislike the Honky Tonk Man? That's just not right. Like grade school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Check yes or no. So Jesse explains, there were precisely 674,383 votes cast. I think he made that up. Honky is elated. That makes me feel good. I knew they loved me. No, no, Jesse explains. You don't understand. Only 71,111 voted that they like you. But I did the math. That's an approval rate of 10.5%. Wow. A couple of interns were counting them at Titan Towers, I think. Yep, yep, yep. This means 603,000 people voted, we don't dig your style, we don't like your greaseball hair, take a walk back to Podunk, Tennessee. That's what Jesse the Heel said to Honky, now also the Heel. Yes. Honky is outraged. That can't be true. I'm going right to big fat Jack Tunney to get to the bottom of this. He storms off and says he's just called me greaseball a second time. Loved it. Loved it. And then. I hinted at this last week. I probably explained this before on the show. Randy Savage and Ricky Steamboat joined in progress from Saturday Night's Main Event. Yeah. I maintain this is when it comes to the angle that hooked a large number of fans and made them wrestling fans for life, this is number one. 100%. It happened to me, happened to many other people I've talked to. Well, I think it also, because it happened to you, you have the bias, but... Of course. Yeah, but it, my it, bias it's is correct. It's up there. It's a very, very famous angle out of the 80s, yes. yes. That's where I learned the, lar- the word larynx. You know, Craig, it's funny you mention that. Yeah. Because yeah. last week on this fucking show, <laughs> yep. I said, wouldn't it be absolutely fucking bizarre if we watched mm-hmm. this... And they actually said larynx. They did. And sure as fucking shit. Yeah. They do the angle, which we'll get into here in a moment. And they go to Gorilla Monsoon, who announces that he has an injured larynx, not a larynx. Okay. I went, wait a second. Hold on a minute. He said larynx. We've been joking about larynx for the past 40 fucking years. This guy said larynx. So I thought, okay. Well, they said later they're going to talk to the doctor. Right. The doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, they go to this guy who ain't no doctor. No. And this motherfucker said larynx. So now, now, I got to find out what the fuck's going on. (laughs) What is fucking going on? Is this the Mandela effect? Like, what is happening? Are we going to turn in next week and they'll say larynx? Or are we all fucking out of our minds? They said larynx on this show. We uh, all heard it. Twice. Yes. Two different sources. After, for 40 years, we've been making fun of larynx. Every time yeah. someone gets their neck hurt, we've said larynx. We've joked about this for 40 fucking years. I yes. rewatch it here in 2024, and that fucker says larynx twice on this show. Nobody said larynx. Uh, okay, to be fair. Yes, maybe, Greg. Maybe, maybe. In reviewing this later on, Vince McMahon said the word larynx. That's possible. That's what I'm waiting for. Because this idiot told everybody that he swallowed his tongue. Which Actually, is it's, it's even funnier. It's even funnier. It is, I mean, well, we haven't talked about the angle yet, but the point is, as okay, what happened, Vinny? <laughs> All right. Don't let me forget. I, before we move on, I will say I know at least one time Road Warrior Hawk used the word larynx. In a yes, promo. So, yes. Okay. And maybe taken, people have taken Hawk and confused him with Randy Savage. So they're doing this match, and uh, the ref gets bumped in a very violent manner. Oh, my God. Dave Hebner nearly died. I'm surprised he's alive. He got sent neck first into that steel cable. Oh, Could yeah, have been killed. Brutal. Yeah. So Dragon does a body press. Hebner immediately gets up to count. He's in, in position on time and everything. He counts one. He counts two. But then heel referee Danny Davis is there to stop him from counting so he can check on him and make sure he's okay. So they start fighting outside, and uh, Savage picks him up for a body slam and drops him throat first across the barricade. Didn't see it every match, but this is the kind of thing you might see in any typical wrestling match in 1986. He gets back inside. Well, first, Vinny, it's more than that. Mm-hmm. He gets dropped across that barricade, and he goes... <clears throat> And he he's starts grabbing his neck. Already selling the neck. And they're like, yes. holy shit, he's grabbing his neck. And this is this is not the dasher board you see on all these days. It's a steel... No. Yes, it, barricade. It's, it's a steel bar, perfect for larynx crushing. 
And so he's he's crawling to his feet, Steamboat is. And there's children there weeping. Move, Regan, move! Because as Dragon has pulled himself up to the barricade and like rested his chin on top, and now his throat's on top of the barricade. And that fucker Randy Savage goes to that top rope. And he always did the double axe handle, but this time he did the double axe handle as Steamboat's throat was across the barricade. And if you thought he was selling before, my God, he was got both hands in his throat. He's struggling to breathe. His eyes are bugging out. He's, he's, in, he's in dire, dire straits. And as he rolls back into the ring, mm-hmm. Vince apparently just forgets everything. You know, this guy's an idiot. Like, he's actually an idiot, but he knows wrestling. But he gets in the ring, and he starts telling us, Steamboat is trying to swallow his tongue. He said he was... Uh, no, that's what he said first. He goes, okay, he's see. trying to swallow his tongue. I was like, he's trying? What? I think Vince, like, he got confused. Okay. Later he said, it looks like he swallowed his tongue. I see. But the first time he goes, he's trying to swallow his tongue. So he probably is the idiot that started Larynx. That's anyway. not possible, yeah. So somewhere in here they get counted out. The match is a draw, so Savage don't care anymore. And actually this is important. This is important because... As he's rolling Steamboat into the ring, the bell rings for the for the count out, and Savage looks over. The bell. And he hears this ringing noise and realizes this bell can be more than just an instrument. It's a weapon. And he grabs that bell, and he goes up to that top rope, and he jumps as high as he can, and he brings that ring bell down across the larynx of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Steamboat's shaking, spasming. He's... He, he, he's Going into uh, 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 hysterics and uh, a seizure. He's having a seizure. Hebner doesn't know what to do. He's paralyzed. Savage is such an asshole. He actually goes to the top rope a second time. But Dave Hebner. Dave Dave Hebner Hebner puts his life on the line. And he grabs Savage's foot to shake him. So Savage can't climb. And Savage jumps down. I'm certain Dave Hebner saved Ricky Steamboat's life there. Mm -hmm. Vince is screaming, Steamboat can't breathe, he's turning purple, he has swallowed his tongue, and they put him on the stretcher, and he falls right off the other side, because they're all incompetent, and they finally get on the stretcher, and they're wheeling him out, he's got both hands on his throat, he's sitting up with his giant abs, hacking, coughing, yakking, you think he may die any second, all those kids, all those children who are right there in the front row, trying to warn him about Macho Man coming down, tears in their eyes, when I tell you I was one of them, not that I was there physically, but watching this in uh, Mill Creek, Washington, at my cousin's house, Saturday night's main event, so it's like midnight when this airs, and we're 11. Being up till midnight is a big deal. And we see this happen, and we thought he was dead. Wait, this couldn't have been Saturday night's main event. Well, we're watching Heroes on Challenge. It's a replay from another show. I know, but we watched all the Saturday night's main events, right? I don't remember this being on Saturday Night's Main Event. You may be right. I think this was on Superstars or something. You may be right. Yeah. It was a Saturday night for sure. But the point is, you watched it. It was definitely a Saturday night because my cousin and I stayed up all night long anticipating a breaking news update Mm -hmm. on the health condition of Ricky the Dragon's team. The sun's rising. We're still up. There's been no news. Well, there's good news. They would have told us he must be dead. And we thought, like, until the Superstars the next week. We thought there was a very real chance Ricky Steamboat had passed on. Relieved to see. Seven days later, he was a... Uh, this was a very, select. very heavy angle. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this was this was no joke. This was not... You watch this show, and it's like, you know, here's Jimmy Jack Funk dressed like a fucking Lone Ranger, and then here's this here's this guy walking with birds later. That was fucking weird. Oh, my God. We'll get to that. <laughs> but then we got this, and it's like, holy shit. They were selling it like this fucking guy might die. And... This is like the heaviest heavy angle you've ever seen, especially in 1986. And literally, they cart his carcass away. Uh, he's on death's door. And they go back, and Gorilla Monsoon goes, Certainly a serious situation this weekend. <laughs> now, let's go to the next match in the ring. I was like, what? Jesus, Gorilla. What the fuck's going on? Is the guy all right? It's uh, for slightly younger listeners um this was like uh, owen and Shawn michaels uh when owen kicked sean in the back of the head oh when he uh, got his enzigiri and yeah yeah i remember uh that evening danielle said a prayer for mr michaels mm. oh as i put her to bed probably was good to do that one way or the other <laughs> can't hurt. probably yeah thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again